What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good uh, afternoon, it still is, and welcome to this video in which we'll talk about uh, Polygon, or more specifically, the Matic coin. Uh, which this is just an update. We'll, we'll really dive into the technicals. There's not a lot of fundamentals we need to talk about. I'll go over them shortly, but we did so in the last video as well. So I don't think we need to really uh, spend a lot of time on that, but don't worry. We'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, but in general, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about what I expect technically from Matic. Uh, obviously we need the fundamentals for that, but still we'll talk more about the technicals and, and what you can expect in that sense. Um, volume has gone up today. We had some uh, quite big moves, as you can see. We, we dropped down throughout the entire afternoon yesterday, and then we had some big bullish moves uh, leading into today, uh, really, or at least from my time zone. Uh, and we've been relatively bullish ever since. I mean, it's uh, Ethereum has been more bullish, but we're, we're up a percentage. We're relatively flat, all right, but still. Um, so yeah, with that, the volume also went up. And if you take a look at uh, Matic, you can see that my, my last analysis was that we would probably... And this is, I mean, everything you see is, is still my last analysis, but I thought um, I thought this initial part, so this consolidation between 82 cents, which is a strong resistance and which is also still our main resistance, um, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and between 76 cents as a support, I thought that would happen. And then from there, I would come back with another analysis, whether I thought it would be more likely to drop down to like 70 and 72 cents, which seemed probable when we had all those bearish moves starting Wednesday last week, when obviously the monetary policy didn't change. And then we got some more bearish news with all the exchange and proof of reserves and, and the audit firms around that. We got some more fear into the market, which made us drop down to, uh, to the levels we were at uh, after the entire FTX crash, for Matic at least. And, uh, but, but now I think we have su sufficient uh, information to, to assume that the market is relatively stable again. And then we turn to the economic fundamentals like the dollar strength index, which is still in a downtrend. So that's bullish for crypto. And that's why what I expect is that, sure, we might actually still consolidate between 82 cents because still that's a very strong resistance level. You've got like three Fibonacci levels there, uh, the 28 EMA, which is that blue line and the 50 EMA, which is coming down right now. Uh, there's still a lot of resistance there, but um, we have solidified our support, I think, around 70, uh, 76 and 75 cents. So I think we'll still consolidate between ultimately, I'd say, 76 cents and, uh, and 82 cents. More specifically, like on, on the very short term, I, I think we're going to take a break retest off of 78 cents and try to break above 82 cents again. I, I don't think we can easily do that, but I do think that at some point we will be able, due to those bullish economic fundamentals, break above 82 cents find, find or get to 84 cents find resistance take that break retest up of 82 cents and reach within this key level i don't think we'll break it uh, i think we'll we'll be stuck at around 86 and at the very maximum 87 cents and then from there we'll drop back down and form some sort of a consolidation a little bit higher i don't see any reason why we would expect an uptrend um, but I do think we can get some more bullish momentum and at least consolidate a little bit higher. That's that's really the best I, I, I could see for now. Um, so it's definitely not looking uh, bright still, um, but it's also definitely not looking too bad, at least according to me, right? I could be wrong. I could be wrong about uh, maybe, uh, I mean, obviously that we still live in a bear market right now. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of like bearish, bearish things that could happen. But I cannot predict that. Um, if right now, for example, the inflation rate starts going up again, which is unexpected, but then we will probably drop down to 70 cents. If, uh, if, if a big, big firm within crypto falls or goes bankrupt, then we'll drop down to 70. But apart from that, just given the fundamentals that we can uh, uh, predict and the technicals, which we can predict to a certain extent, this seems like the most likely scenario. So yeah, that's my take on Matic for now. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.